Okay, so I wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of being a CNA. <coughs> so I'm going to go through the pros first um, because it's always better to have good news. Um, <coughs> so if you're thinking about being a CNA or you know, you're getting ready to do your CNA training, then maybe the, these things will give you a little bit of info about what to expect. Um, you know, maybe make your decision a little bit easier on whether or not you want to be a CNA. And also, um, if you see me looking down, it's because I actually made a list of the pros and cons that I wanted to mention in this video. So, <clears throat> for the pros, my first pro is it's easy to get a job, especially if you um, are willing to work in a nursing home. It's harder to get a hospital job because those jobs get like picked up real fast um, everybody wants those jobs but if you are willing to give it a try in a nursing home and you're willing to work in that environment there's always jobs available nursing homes are always hiring <clears throat> um, another pro would be that there's always room for growth um, in most facilities they have CNAs, they, some of them have QMAs. Some of the facilities that I've worked in have QMAs, which is a med tech, um, <clears throat> someone who passes medicine, um, or you know, a lot of places will do reimbursement, tuition reimbursement, or help pay for your college to go to nursing school, or just further yourself. Um, Another pro would be that this is giving you nursing experience, so then when you go to nursing school, um, you know, you, you're not just completely just by, you know, the whole environment because at first it is very intimidating, it can be very overwhelming, um, so if you haven't started CNA training yet, be ready for it because it will all come at you all at once, you're going to see a lot of things. <clears throat> and you are, you know, it's, it's going to be rough at first, but if you stick in there, it will be worth it. Um, another pro would be it's a great stepping stone. A lot of people I know started out as CNAs and then they went on to like do QMA or they went on to become an LPN, um, RN, whatever. Some people that were here um, there's one CNA that works here. She's just here for the summer, but um, she's actually in PA school to become a physician assistant. So it is a great stepping stone. <clears throat> this is a relatively easy and inexpensive way to get your foot in the door in the medical field. Um, for example, the CNA class that I was part of, I didn't, I didn't pay for um, my CNA training in nursing home paid for my CNA training, but um, the actual class itself, if I would have paid for it myself, would have cost like $450 or something like that. And it was, the class lasted like a month. So it's relatively quick, relatively affordable, and relatively easy to become a CNA. Um, another pro would be that there are always hours available because this is a very physically intense job. Um, a lot of people get frustrated. They don't like dealing with, you know, certain things. Um, a lot of people are lazy and they don't want to work the hard jobs or the hard hours. So there's always hours available, nursing homes especially. Um, believe me, they will be calling you to ask you to work or texting you, whatever your facility does, asking you to work. So be ready for it. So now let's talk a little bit about the cons. Um, so one of the biggest cons is that there is not enough pay. CNAs do not get paid enough for what we do. We deal with a lot. We deal with family members. We deal with bodily fluids. Um, we deal with <clears throat> confused patients, combative patients. We deal with condescending nurses. You know, for everything that we do, we do not get paid enough. I will tell you guys, I'll be honest. My very first CNA job, I was getting paid ten seventy an hour, and that was at a nursing home on a memory care unit. 
after that, um, by the time I left there, I was getting paid eleven ten an hour. Um, then I got a job at the hospital on the orthopedics unit, and I was making $11.30 an hour over there. And the highest paid job that I had was an agency job, and it paid $13 an hour. And when I work night shift here at this facility, I get paid more than that. Um, the base pay here is $12.40 an hour. And then um, I get an hour, an hour, a dollar shift differential for working night shift. Um, <clears throat> so it's not that bad, but it could definitely be better for all the things that we have to do. Another con is abusive and combative patients. Um, sometimes they're just confused and they don't know why you want to do what you want to do to them whether it's change them or get them dressed or help them in the shower or whatever um, <clears throat> a lot of them don't understand like what is going on um, whether that's because they have dementia or they've been you know like they're on medications that make them confused it all depends sometimes people are just angry and they're combative because they don't want you to care for them and I have dealt with that. I've been punched, I've been kicked, I've been bitten, I've been slapped, you know, I've been pushed, all of the above. And so that's something that kind of makes it dangerous, which is kind of another reason why I feel like CNAs should get paid more than we do. Um, not only is it physically violent, but patients can be emotionally, verbally abusive to you as well. Um, so get ready you will learn how to have a thick skin here um, I used to be like <clears throat> easily offended and you cannot be easily offended in this field you cannot take anything personally that these people say you just have to do service with a smile and smile and say you know I'm sorry apologize even if you're not sorry just apologize and do what you can to make them happy Another con would be having to deal with condescending nurses. Um, there's a lot of nurses who feel like for whatever reason that because they have a degree or whatever, um, they have that professional license, that that makes them superior to you and that they look down on you because you are just a CNA. I hate it when people say that you're just a CNA or, you know, whatever I'm still caring for you or I'm caring for your relatives so what's the difference just because I can't pass meds that's the only difference between me and the nurse um, another con would be it is so easy to get burnt out super fast especially in the nursing home setting because like I said they will be calling you um, to cover they will be calling you to come in um, they will be calling you to do a double they will be asking you to stay if your facility is one that um, does mandation um, they will be asking you to stay they will be asking you to pick up shifts just get used to it and learn how to say no because you will get burnt out and you will get burnt out fast um, another con would be that this job and this work is very physically intense um, it's hard for me to see myself doing this much longer just because I have MS, multiple sclerosis, <laughs> lifting and turning and, you know, transferring and all of that stuff is getting more and more difficult for me. Um, if I ever get to the point where I feel that it's unsafe for me to do that, then I will have to stop doing CNA work. I'm hoping to be able to get through nursing school before that happens. That is my goal. And that is why I'm in such a rush to get through nursing school, in case you guys were wondering. Um, because it is physically intense. You have to, you know, learn how to do things correctly so that you don't throw out your back, so that you don't ruin your knees. Um, try to do whatever you can to not hurt yourself. Um, you need to take care of yourself. If you need a day where you need to do self-care, then make sure that you're doing that because these facilities, they don't really care about you. I mean, that sounds terrible, but they don't. You know, they can have you replaced like that. There's CNAs everywhere looking for jobs. So 
that's what they feel like, you know, I, I can replace this person in a heartbeat, um, which is sad, but that's how it is. And to kind of go along with that, um, with the job being physically intense, it does kill your back. Like when I first started, um, I would wake up in the middle of the night with my back hurting. You know, I would just, I would be in so much pain because it is very physically intense. And there's a lot of obese people in the world <laughs> And that doesn't make it any easier, especially if you have somebody who is like 300, 400 pounds and they're totally dependent. Um, it's really difficult because even with two people, sometimes it's hard um, to turn somebody and keep them in that position. But um, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you work as a CNA or you work as a nurse, and you have any pros or cons that you'd like to add to my list, let me know. And um, I don't know, I don't want to scare anybody off from becoming a CNA, but I just want to be honest and put this out there so that you know it's not all sunshine and roses. And, you know, it can be a very thankless job. So you just have to consider whether you are ready to deal with those things or not and if you're not then that's okay find something else that you're better suited for um but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys are having a great day if there's any other topics you would like me to talk about let me know if there's any questions you might have also let me know and i'll make a video about it and with that being said i will talk to you guys in my next video